Thank you for tuning in. You're watching Candace Cruz with Life Flow. And I just want to, first of all, welcome you into the new year and just say Happy New Year. I wish and pray the best for you this coming year. Um, so many things that we've gone through last year, we don't need to bring them into this year. We can just discard them and start new. That's a good thing about the new year. Same as the good thing about the word. We can wake up each day and start it all over again. Each day, God's mercies are brand new. They're everlasting and they're everlasting. So we, not, we don't have to be limited to the things that are behind us. And we don't need to bring them into our future because our future is bright. And what's before us is greater than anything that we have left behind us. Now, as usual, I want to take it to the work because today I want to talk about really briefly, too, because it's such a long topic on forgiveness. We have so many different Bible verses on forgiveness, but one that really sticks out to me where I see people really suffer with is forgiving themselves. We sin daily. We're not perfect. We're in this flesh. The Bible says the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Um, and we can go to 1 John 1 and 19, where it says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Notice it says all unrighteousness. God is able to forgive us of everything that we've done wrong. He says so in his word. It's there. You can look it up. But what we struggle with is forgiving ourselves. When we don't forgive ourselves, we're saying, God, your word is not big enough to forgive me. Your power is not great enough to cleanse my sin. We have to be the ones to say, okay, I messed up. We bring it to God in repentance and we forgive ourselves and we move on. We cannot let the enemy bombard us and have us live in condemnation when God clearly says, I've forgiven you of your sins. Also, Jeremiah 31 and 3. Yea, I've loved thee with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness, I have drawn thee. It's the Lord that draws us into repentance. It's the Lord written upon our hearts and our mind and our spirits that draws us to want to do better, to want to succeed in all things. So when we fall short, get back up. It's not as hard as it sounds. You just have to take that step to get back up and know that God is going to forgive you. But if you don't repent of it, if you don't ask for forgiveness, then you'll let the enemy really just beat you up. And that's not necessary. Forgive. Just as it says forgive, you want to be forgiven, you have to also forgive yourself. I know that in my life, in so many different areas, in different things that I've gone through, um, sin, things that you know that you shouldn't do, but you still continue to do it because your flesh is weak. You, you have temptations. I'm not saying by any means that it's okay, but what I am saying is you are in the flesh. You will fall. You will make mistakes. You will sin. No one is perfect. And no situation is perfect. But to know that you have a loving father that you can go to when you do sin and when you do mess up is reassuring. So, beloved, don't condemn yourself. Don't let the enemy condemn you. In all things, forgive yourself. Just as you've gone to God and asked for repentance, he will forgive you and he loves you. There's nothing that can take you out of the hand of God. There's no mountain high enough, no, no river deep enough that God cannot stretch his arms down and take you out of it. I love you, beloved, and let this year be your best year yet. Thank you for tuning in. This is 